YouTube welcome back to the channel thanks for being here I appreciate you watching the video as you can see behind me I have the Subaru back in tonight it's been leaking some oil um, I actually replaced the uh, the oil pressure sending unit which is down in there um, if you watch the previous videos I think we covered that put a brand new one in it but it looks like it's leaking already so what I'm gonna do this car is equipped with uh, some DeFi aftermarket gauges. Got a couple on the steering column there and then, uh, three of them over there in the dash. What I'm going to do is uh, put this guy in. So this fitting is out of the engine. Um, as you saw, we replaced the engine in this car. So I ended up with an extra one of these out of the junkyard engine. So I put a T on it screwed in a new uh, pressure sensor that'll hook up to that defi and then i left this port open for the oil pressure switch to go in so we're going to try to uh, take the alternator off try to sneak that guy in right down in there so i'm hoping it'll sit in there kind of that way down in there and uh, we'll have room for the that switch on the front or maybe the back we'll just see how it works and where the wires reach to and then hopefully we can uh, get his gauge working again when he bought the car it had no gauge working and also the factory switch wasn't there either because the the sensor for the gauge was in the port where the switch was supposed to be so uh, he had no way of telling that he had lost oil pressure which ultimately cost him the engine, as you saw in the previous videos. So um, I need to fix that leak anyway, so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and try to get the gauge working as well, and uh, then he can keep an eye on it a little better. So thanks for being here. Please subscribe. really means a lot to me. Uh, I'm pushing, trying to get up uh, enough subscriptions to, to get unlock some features on the channel. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you subscribe. And uh, yeah, hang out, follow along, and uh, we'll see if we can get this thing fixed up. All right, guys, as you can see, I got the alternator off, set to the side. I got this oil pressure sending unit out. Um, Looking at my my T and stuff here, I think it's going to fit. There's some stuff uh, that's going to be close. That's going to put it back really close to the uh, the coolant pipe on that side. If I put it this way, it's going to be out by the front of the alternator. I don't believe I have room to go to the side like this. Even if I did, the the switch wouldn't fit on this other side. So that's not going to work. Um, I can definitely see that I'm going to have to take the sensor back out and uh, screw the the fitting and the T in first. Get those where they need to be and then uh, try to get the sensor and the switch put back in it from there. Alright guys, got the fitting down in there with the T. I'm going to just kind of set the alternator back roughly where it goes. Must not be completely in the way or the alternator wouldn't have fallen all the way down like that. Let me 
actually have a pretty good amount of clearance. Should probably put the belt back on just to kind of see where we're at. Just kind of checking the clearance. So you can see there's definitely no room for either sensor to go forward from there. But I think if I rotate it just a little more, that I can fit a sensor in this area one of them and then the other one back in this area so we're gonna try that I'm gonna try to turn that about north and south maybe just a hair past it and then uh, try to stick the sensors in and flop the alternator back down and see where we're at again alright guys you can see what I came up with there got the pressure sensor here and the switch back there I'm going to put the alternator down over it one more time, make sure there's clearance, and then I'll go ahead and tighten those both up, get the wires plugged in, and put her back together, and we should be good to go. Alright guys, as you can see down there, even without the belt, there's a, uh, plenty of room, so when the belt's on, this thing's going to end up way up here, and we are good to go down there, so... I'm going to pop the alternator off one more time, tighten those two down, and uh, plug everything back in, get it all wired back up, and bolt it all back together, and we'll be good to go. Alright, so here's the finished product. Got the uh, sensor screwed in, the switch screwed in, all the wires hooked back up. I went ahead and just ran this sensor wire up the side there, tied it in, it runs back under the intake. Just going to put the alternator back on now, button everything up and start it up, make sure everything works and there's no leaks and we're good to go. guys all buttoned up nicely in there nothing's rubbing or touching we're good to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, turn the battery back on fire it up and see if the gauge works is in metric units so it's reading at uh, six bar there's 14 and a half psi per bar so that's uh, probably more oil pressure than it's actually making that would be like 80 some psi so I don't think it's accurate but it is still showing something and can give him some kind of a relative uh, idea of whether it has normal oil pressure or whether the oil pressure has dropped lower than normal so I think it's still a good thing um, I'm happy that it, that it is at least working uh, one of my next projects probably on this car will be to get the rest of these working so oil temp doesn't work fuel pressure doesn't work um, boost I think does work sure I think uh, I think when it's under a load it, it does show boost on the gauge who knows if it's hundred percent accurate um, EGT also does not work which I put a new thermocouple in the EGT 
I need to double check and see if maybe I got the wires backwards or something or if there's something going on between the engine bay and the back of the DEFI unit. Kind of killed two birds with one stone on that one that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching i really appreciate it i really really would appreciate it if you would subscribe um it, it means a lot to me not because i make any money or um, because it really does has any benefit to me what it does is uh unlock some features that allow me to make the channel better hopefully so uh, really looking forward to that i'd appreciate a sub um Stay tuned. We got more stuff coming. Got Honda content, Subaru content, and who knows what else. Uh, we are moving this weekend, so um, maybe a little slow the next couple of weeks, which by the time I post this video, that'll be long gone anyway. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.